Hello, welcome to everybody. And now today we will discuss uh, on the stability analysis of uh, retaining wall. And we have seen there are different types of retaining wall and uh, the main loads coming on retaining walls are these soil pressure, self-weight, uh, and soil pressure from the bottom, surcharge and water pressure. This already we have discussed it. Uh, so this uh, no need to go further on this so we will see how do we check the stability of a retaining wall see the stability oh, only natural we call it as a stability analysis and stability analysis of retaining wall we will check in three phases one is uh, stability against overturning overturning means you know because of the uh, I mean the soil pressure and surcharge load a retaining wall might uh, overturn like this see this is the soil face you can see here my mouse moves you know this is a soil face soil face and this is the other fa other side actually so because of this soil pressure and surcharge, there's a chance of it can topple like this this is called overturning moment okay so we'll see how do we check the overturning stability against overturning another one is sliding the sliding is nothing but you know when we when the force is applied like that you can see here this one this horizontal because of the horizontal force there's a chance that it might move away from the force actually the other side so how do we check that one uh, this in this video we will see only these two overturning and the sliding soil pressure we will see in another in the another video okay let us see how it is overturning so as i told you before there is a overturning it's because of this forces so there is an overturning moment and this side the self weight and other things it will create a resisting restoring moment also so uh, to a retaining wall to be safe or stable against overturning this is the factor safety we follow that is 1.55 that is a resisting moment divided by overturning moment should be greater than or equal to 1.55 uh, that is what the basic uh, thing then we will see how do we find out uh, overturning uh, a moment and how do we find out a restoring moment so once it is done that's all so let us see, see the figure here this is a uh, this blue color what you are seeing here it's a normal retaining wall the top this is called stem this is the heel this is the top yeah and the top uh, width the width of the stem is b that's it is denoted here annotated here actually it is clearly visible and this portion what you are seeing the light color is the soil and this is the surcharge q okay let us see how do you find out the overturning moment you know that this is the soil phase this is the other side actually so because of the soil pressure there's a chance that this might move overturn topple okay so when you see the, this side the soil phase the stress distribution it is it will be like this okay this uh, this green color shows the rectangular stress distribution this is because of the soil pressure and uh, this color this one uh, this light uh, uh, you know brown color this uh, rectangular stress distribution this is because of the uh, surcharge okay so and the bottom you can see we have already studied in geotechnical engineering that the bottom the base of the triangle stress uh, uh, will be ka into gamma into h where k is the active coefficient of active air pressure gamma is the uh, soil density and h is the height of the uh, retaining wall okay similarly we here this k is the, it is the active at pressure and q is a surcharge load as you can see here okay, the height is total and you can see that this uh, total pressure will be acting the for a triangular portion it will be acting at a distance h by 3 let us say let's call it as a y1 and let us say the force is the triangular area because of the soil it is ph1 and let us say the rectangular area the force the total force it is pH2 speaking being rectangular the I mean it is EG will be at H by 2 at the center which is H by 2 it's called as a Y or Y2 okay so hope this is clear now now let us see the same thing what you have explained 
so the moment if you take the moment to the base so ph2 into y2 similarly we have only two forces one force is because of the rectangular portion surcharge and another for triangular portion which is soil and ph1 into y1 so overturning moment is because of this moment only there's if there is a possibility of overturning this will happen because of these two forces and this moment so ph1 into y1 and ph2 into y2 okay now you see how do you calculate ph1 how do you calculate p y1 see this figure so ph1 is the total force acting on the triangular portion yeah so we have seen which is base is ka gamma h and the height is h so the total force is nothing but the area of the triangle okay and we are see remember we are considering the retaining wall for a 1 meter width so i have not uh, mentioned 1 meter width here okay so the area of the triangle is half into ka gamma h into h so this is the total force ph1 okay and what is y1 y1 is at what distance the force is acting because it's a triangle the force will be acting at the cg that is y1 is equal to h by 3 from here okay that is y1 h by 3 and ph2 this is a total force that's nothing but the area of the rectangle that is ka into q into h okay very uh, and the cg is at the center so we are taking a moment to the bottom so y2 is equal to h by 2 right so in, you can substitute uh, instead of ph1 you can substitute half into ka gamma h square and uh, for y1 you can write y by h by 3 like that you will get overturning moment so when you do a problem it will be clear for you so hope you understood how to find out overturning moment so now let us uh, yeah uh, now uh, hope it is clear now how do we do this overturning moment right okay now let us uh, so uh, in, 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 in con for concluding you know overturning moment is nothing but uh, see ph1 y1 plus ph2 y2 so ph1 you know how to calculate y1 you know it so now let us uh, come to uh, the i mean uh, uh, restoring moment so this see this figure now uh, okay this one is our retaining wall and this portion is uh, soil and this is our uh, surcharge load also okay so see the the overturning moment we have seen the restoring moment is nothing but because of the self weight and the the load acting on this one that is soil pressure and this one how it is going to restore it so now we are going to take the moment to this portion the end of this to right uh, okay so now the thing is that let us consider the rectangular part of the stem this w1 and distance from this w1 to this end is let us say it is x1 similarly the triangular portion we have split this stem into rectangle and triangle and the load acting the weight of that self weight of that one is w2 and this x2 and same way x3 the base portion w3 x3 and w4 is the soil load acting on that one it's w4 and x4 and w5 is the uh, this one what do you call it surcharge load okay now we will take the moment to this point so how do we do how do you find it out w1 into x1 w2 into x2 w3 into x3 and w4 into x4 and w5 and x5 and if you add everything you will get the total moment that is the restoring moment so as you have written here w1 x1 w2 x2 so our aim is to find out w1 w2 w3 and up to w5 separately and same x1 x2 x3 up to x5 also so how do you find out w1 w1 is nothing but the weight of the rectangular portion so it's clear actually this portion this is b and height is total height is h so this one will be h minus h so you can write like this b into h minus h into 20 by 20 by is nothing but the unit weight of concrete so let it w2 the area area into length you know so half into d minus so total is d this is b so d minus b into h minus h into 25 so let w3 is the base b into h into 25 W4 this is a one meter length. Okay, so W4 is nothing but this is A. This portion is A. A into H minus H. 
into 18. 18 is not the unit weight of soil. And uh, finally, W5 is Q into A, the total load actually. So once you find your WRM, the restoring moment is nothing but W1 and X1 plus W2, so you will get a restoring moment. Yeah. Now, for overturning, the, the, the retaining wall to be safe, you know, overturning moment, you can write like this, sigma P into H, the horizontal force, total sigma P into H. And uh, uh, Rm is the, uh, sigma W into X. I think we can, sigma P into H, Y we can write, to be the good, right? Then, uh, as I told you, the factor of safety should be a restoring moment by overturning moment should, uh, should be greater than or equal to 1.55. Okay, and uh, sliding, coming to sliding, see, uh, sliding, you know, because horizontal force, there's a chance that this, this might move. Okay, so only thing which is stopping this movement is the self weight and the friction, the frictional force between the bottom of the retaining wall and the soil actually. Let us say uh, this mu is a, mu or eta is coefficient of friction, the total weight is sigma w divided by sigma p into h. Okay, this is the uh, factor of safety. Uh, so mu theta, eta or mu into sigma w divided by sigma into ph should be greater than or equal to 1.55. So you know how to calculate sigma w and all. We have seen previous overturning moment when we calculated how do we find out sigma w and all. Okay, suppose it is not safe. How do we make it stay? If it is not safe, what we can do is we can make a small key like this. It's called shear key. So we will make a shear key here which will be embedded in the soil so that when the force comes you know th this will stop so uh, in that case you know when you are providing shear key it will be like this mu into sigma w mu or eta eta into sigma w plus ps ps is resistance due to shear key now, when the design comes you will find out how do you find it out okay ps and all divided by sigma ph to get from equal to 1.55 so that's all with uh, how do you find it out, uh, uh, you know, overturning moment and uh, resisting, I mean, resisting moment, similarly sliding, and how do you check for against sliding and overturning. So if you have any questions, let us discuss else. Thank you very much.